This video is about Cronbach's alpha. We will discuss what Cronbach's alpha is, how to calculate it, and how to interpret the results. So let's start with the first question. What is Cronbach's alpha? Cronbach's alpha is a measure of the internal consistency of a scale. Okay, but what is the internal consistency? And what is meant by scale? Let's look at an example. Imagine you're a researcher and you want to test the hypothesis extroverted people earn higher salaries than introverted people. To test this hypothesis, we first need to design a questionnaire. With it, we want to collect data on people's level of extroversion and their salary. But that raises a big question. How do we actually measure extroversion? Extraversion is a so-called latent variable. If you like, the previous video explains all about latent variables in detail. Here, just a small reminder for you. A latent variable is something you want to measure, but you can't observe it directly. And instead of measuring the latent variable directly, we need a set of statements or items that everyone answers. This set of items is called a scale. Okay, but what is an item and what is a scale? An item is just a single question or statement on a survey or test where respondents indicate how much they agree or disagree. A scale is now a group of items where respondents indicate how much they agree or disagree. So people now just answer all the items. If we assign numbers to the response options, we can calculate the average of the responses. This average can then be used to estimate the latent variable, for example, how extroverted a person is. The higher the score, the more extroverted they are. Okay, but this video is about Cronbach's alpha, right? So how does Cronbach's alpha fit into all of this? Well, once we've built a scale with several items to measure something like extroversion, we still have a crucial question. Can we trust this scale? Are all these items really measuring the same underlying construct or are they just a random mix of questions? And that's exactly where Cronbach's alpha comes in. Cronbach's alpha is a statistic that tells us how reliable a scale is. In other words, it tells us how consistently the items work together to measure that latent variable. If there is a high correlation between the items, we have a high internal consistency. So if we have a high Cronbach's alpha, it means the items move together. If we have a high Cronbach's alpha, people who score high on one item tend to score high on the other items as well. And people who score low on one item tend to score low on the other items. If Cronbach's alpha is low, there isn't much correlation between the items. So now there are two open questions. How to calculate Cronbach's alpha and how to interpret the results. To calculate Cronbach's alpha, let's look at this example dataset. Here we have five items and each row represents one person's answer. For example, the first person answered five at item A, four at item B, then three, four and five. We'll first calculate this example with Numico and then take a closer look at the formula for Cronbach's alpha. If you like, you can load this dataset with the link in the video description or you can copy your own data into this table. Now you click on the tab Reliability. Under Reliability, you can calculate different reliability statistics depending on how many variables you click and which level of measurement they have you will get a suitable suggestion. If we select item A to item E, Cronbach's alpha is calculated. If you don't know how to interpret the result, just click on summary in words or interpretation. Okay, but what is the formula behind Cronbach's alpha? Cronbach's alpha can be calculated using this formula. Here, K is the number of items, in our case five, Sigma E is the variance of the eth item. So we calculate the variance of item A, the variance of item B, and so on. 
But what is sigma total? We just calculate the sum of all items and then calculate the variance of this sum. With that we can calculate Cronbach's alpha. One thing to note. Cronbach's alpha assumes that all items in our scale measure one single dimension, one latent variable. But how do we actually know if that's true? What if our items are secretly measuring two or three different things at once? That's where exploratory factor analysis comes in. In the next video we will use factor analysis to check how many dimensions are hidden behind our items. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.